drifting it's not a race a lot of people think um drifting is a race but it's all about style so it's how stylishly you go around the corner um and it's the only um judged motorsport so it's down to the judges to say how well you drove not down to a stopwatch all the time there's clipping points on corners so you'll have like the apex of the corner and you have to get the front of your car as close to a clipping point as you can and then on the outside of the corner there'll be another clipping point say a wall or something like that and you have to get as close to the back of the wall as you, you can like so scraping your bumper which cow batter is very good at <laughs> you hit the wall yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is his speciality <laughs> if you um smash into the wall then that's no good you've got to just scrape it and that's kind of 10 points just touch it. yeah <laughs> How does he rank in the world of drifting? How well are you good at how well do you do at drifting? In Japan? Sorry? In in Japan your results? Results? Yeah, in Japan. My? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh or fifth uh, uh three three sorry. Four years ago, uh fifth point uh, all Japan. In the whole of Japan he came fifth, so <laughs> And Japan being pretty much the world in drifting terms. Yeah, Japan, um, they invented the sport, so um, the Japanese drivers are regarded the best in the world. But the UK is getting good, Ireland's very good, um, America's getting really good now. American drivers, good? Yeah, good. Yeah. Traditionally, um, motorsports in the UK, is there's a lot of regulations and stuff. So with the drifting, it's kind of... It's an unregulated sport, so it's more of an entertainment. So it hasn't really taken off so well in this country, but America is the fastest growing motorsport in America. So you do think it's going to be really big in the years to come? Well, I don't know. This country, it's kind of quite backwards, really, in their thinking. Um, a lot of the tracks, they, they don't really want you to do it, but it is changing. Like, there's an event at Silk, there's one at Brands Hatch, which, Brands Hatch? Mm -hmm. This is the second time they've only ever done drifting there, so... Yeah, how did you get into it? Um, I did the Gumball Rally about uh, three or four years ago and I found out about it then and I've been into it ever since. Yeah, uh, and... Uh, oh, is killing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually learning from Kawabata. Yeah, Kawabata is teaching me to drift. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to compete and then for next year and then we'll see how we do. <laughs> It's a language barrier uh, at, at all? Or? No, no, we kind of... The language? Language? You are picking up English? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Teach>. <laughs> And he teaches me. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Arigato. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, when we first started Dirty Sands, it was all quite new and original, but... It was seven years ago, and these days oh, there's 101 kids doing stuff on the internet, which is far worse than anything we'd do. So it kind of, the spark's gone, but the drifting is kind of like my new thing, and I find it more, it just, it's crazy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's my new Dirty Sanchez. Dirty Sanchez on wheels. <laughs> so not bringing any scars in from your uh, seven years? Um, no, I got away lightly, really. Mental scars? <laughs> yeah, mental scars more than anything. <laughs> Eating someone's fat is, I wouldn't really want to be doing that ever again. So, uh, this race you're doing, um, is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow at Brands Hatch. It's the EDC, which is European Drift Championships. Um, Cabot has never done the EDC before. You looking forward to EDC tomorrow? Mm hmm. <laughs> Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch. Oh, great. Yeah. We went there for the British touring car. Mm -hmm. And you checked the track out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of the track? Uh, cooling and big and fast. Fast. <laughs> and dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But there's no walls. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no walls. <laughs> no heat. <laughs> so it's going to be more of a line. Like, you have to get close to a line, but there's no wall to hit. Yeah, yeah. They'll have, like, an inside clipping point and an outside, but there's no walls can be because there isn't any there but lots of kitty litter I've been explaining to him that the gravel traps we call it kitty litter but I don't think he's quite understood that yet in the, the lots of gravel mm -hmm. kitty litter yeah <laughs>
Safety. <laughs> <laughs> Safety. <Yeah. laughs> you win tomorrow? Of course. Yeah. Is it worth putting a bet on well, you? Yeah. <laughs> 10 to 1? Mm -hmm. 50 to 1? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put your bet on Cowbatter for tomorrow to win. <laughs>